This is the manual bed leveling procedure. It works almost as good as any guided procedure uh, using software or counting lead screw threads or something like that. So the first step in the procedure is this lead screw is completely loose. What we're going to do is we're going to let the printer bottom out where this bracket here hits this piece of plastic. So just push it down all the way. And now that we've hit that point, what we're going to do is we are going to raise the limit switch until it clicks. Just the very beginning of the point. Don't push past where it clicks. Okay. Now that is where the printer is zeroed out. If you move this coupler and you don't hear the limit switch clicking, it's too low. You can either raise it or you can try to rotate it to get more height out of it. The rotation method seems to work really well for small adjustments. So go ahead and rotate it a little bit until you hear that click. There's the click. And we're going to lock it down. And from this point on, we're going to lower this until we first hear that click engage. And as soon as we hear the click engage, that's when we can start our actual bed leveling procedure. So at this point, you will find that the print head is very close to the bed or inside of it. Um, that could be for a number of reasons. And so we set this for safety so that the print head isn't digging into the bed, damaging and scraping things. So what you're going to have to do is grab your print bed. It might be a black sheet, a glass fiber sheet, or a piece of glass. I'm going to grab a fiber sheet. And now I'll see that it doesn't fit. So what I'm going to do is push down on the springs and get this under the print head. And then move the print head so that it's just over top of a screw. And we're going to start leveling that. So there are a few tools that you can use to adjust the nuts. Now we're using a 9 30 seconds, but you can also use 7, I believe. 7 works fine. And so does this other one. So with this, you can use a power tool, and you can just rotate it. Um, if you don't have anything, and you're in a pinch, you can use the wrench that's provided. It's a little big, so you would have to tilt it at an angle to get rotation. Um, it doesn't really work well. So we're still working on getting those for the early printers. We rather deliver them, so most people will find a, a wrench. And once you set this, you don't have to do it again. Or you very rarely have to do it. And that's why we chose to go with these lock nuts. You can also print something that goes over top of that to make a hand turning adjustment easier. But without the, the lock nut, we found that beds would just loosen themselves quite easily. So this is a manual way to do it. And what we've done is we've added washers in here to give it better spacing and more push force. What you want to see is this happening. You want to see that with any adjustment, you're immediately getting that height offset. Now, I don't have to work very hard to adjust this because I've got this sheet in here and as soon as I adjusted it to be too loose that sheet suddenly started falling so I know that I'm in the ballpark here watch what happens when I loosen this so this is completely loose now if I tighten it Now it's giving me some serious resistance. So you want to be right at where it's a little bit loose.
Now you repeat this for the four corners. So you go to the next one, whichever one that is for you. And then go and do every corner and then check every corner once. And that procedure for leveling is done. If you need to adjust the height, I recommend rotating this uh, limit switch holder here using a software offset or lightly adjusting these. But your goal is once you set these, you never want to be adjusting them all the time for something like a different bed height. Um, another option is you can get a limit switch and put it on the head and use software to home. So there's lots of choices with this.